Here we are, mudlarking, fully equipped with walking stick for beating nettles down, which we've had to do a few of, and an umbrella, because the sun's shining now, but the rain could be on its way. So, come on folks, let's get in this water on this beach and let's go mudlarking. Here we are on this beach and it is full of amazing finds. If you don't mind things being broken, there are just hundreds of them everywhere you look. Within minutes of us getting here, look at the sort of things we're finding. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a really big piece too. And there's more blue and white. That I think was a jug. Can you see the spout? And here is some willow pattern and here is some plain blue. A bone. And Phil's found a big lump of bone, which has been sawn off, butchered properly, so probably from somebody's dinner. Let's have a look here. There's some green. I do like finding green. That's very nice. What's this here? Oh, it's a little plug. Look at that. Look at this. That's not terribly old. Oh, what's Phil found? Ooh, that is big. Wow. Okay, excavation right. time. Needs my diggy thingy for that, I think. Right, here we go. Time to excavate. Wow, this could be enormous. Yeah, is it all? That's the question. Mm. Oh, I think it's broken. Still well with digging up to find out what it is. Whoa, look at the size on that. Cool. That's quite a chunk, That it? is massive. Look at that. What a shame that isn't whole. Mm. I, well, thought, spotted, I thought we were in with a chance then. Mm. It's handle, look. Oh, yes, look. So it must have been some sort of cookway. Yeah, handle that side. Need to have an handle somewhere around here. Mm, that would have been very big. Oh, can you see what I can see there? Now, there are bits of china, but can you see something else? Get my shadow out of the way. It's easier for you to see. It's there. It's a bottle stopper. And there's something written on this, which I'll put on the screen when I get home because I can't actually see here because I haven't got my glasses on. There are so many things here. I just want to pick them all up and take them home, but I can't. So we'll try looking at some interesting things. Now there's a teapot lid. We found many teapot lids in Yorkshire. Hmm, teapot lids, rims. Always seem to be here in Yorkshire. Right, using my new diggy thingy. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, look. What's by my feet? What's by Phil's feet? There's a little pot, but let's go and see what Phil's just found. Bring your diggy thing. Bring my diggy thing. It's right for there. Oh, <gasps> look, look. Don't know how far the stem goes. It's a pipe. Oh wow, let's have a look. Oh, that's as far as it goes, but still, look at that. It's a pipe. Is that a pipe on the front? There's, oh, it's something like a, like a piece, piece of, of wheat. Or wheat, wheat, yeah, wheat, yeah. Oh, isn't that lovely? 
Well, that is an exciting find and definitely worth coming through all that undergrowth to find. Yeah, you've got to be so careful because you could easily tread on that. Yep. It'd be gone. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That's worth six hours on the blinking motorway, stuck in traffic. Look here, there's another bottle stopper and this has got something written on too. Stone. Something. I can't read it again. I'll put it on screen when we get home. But this little pot here. And just lots and lots of really interesting things. Lots of pot bowls. I think that would have been a pie bowl or a pie dish. Right, we'll go this direction and see what we can find. So far, there's been no need to go in the water. We're finding such exciting things. Now, there is a bit of oyster shell from when people used to eat oysters. Not that they don't eat oysters now, but they ate them a lot more then. Oh, look at this little bottle. <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? Look, it's a little cute one. Hold it up to the light. I think it might be green. I'm not sure. Oh, that's lovely. Right, let's keep looking, see what else we can find. Where do you start? There's just so much to find you. That's pretty, that's like gold. Got gilding on it, possibly the handle of something. And here we have the handle of a mug. And here we have some, I think that's quite 60s, 70s type pattern, isn't it? Probably a mug, not a lot left at the moment. Right, let's keep looking. <gasps> Can you see that blue glass there? Let's move that out of the way. Oh, I think that's a bit of bone. Let's have a look. Oh, it's broken. Look at that. That would have been quite spectacular, wouldn't it? Lovely bit of blue glass. And it's the bottom of a little teacup. Here's a stripey ring. Oh, well, hey, that's quite a nice big chunk, too. Now, here's a handle. So, if we take that up, oh, look, that must have been a tureen. Can you see that cobalt blue on there? Isn't it lovely? Right, there is. Oh, but just a second before I do anything else. Is this a teapot spout? I think it is. Look at that, a brown teapot spout. That's just a bit of fun, isn't it? I've seen another little bottle over here. There it is. That's cute, very small, very cute. Perfectly formed. I like it. Hmm, what's this? That's got some nice patterning on it. Probably some square sort of vase or vase. Hmm. That's pretty, isn't it? Put the pattern in on that. Very nice. Now I've spotted something else. It's blue and I can see it's broken. Can you see something there? We're going to go around and check it out. Oh look. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Hold it up to the light. you found? I got, I got that one. Oops, have a look. Oh, a little paste pot with a screw lid. Very cute. That Ooh. one. What does that say on there? Bottled by Jay's. So that's going to be Jay's fluid. Yeah. Let's see if we can hold it up to the light. It's an amber glass. That one's got no writing and, on it. Oh, that's cute. Cute little bottle. Lovely. And we'll, we'll put them this. in our find bag. Now, we've learned from our last trip. Last trip had small plastic carrier bag. 
This time, a very large bag for life. Phil's found something with some writing on. It's like a stamp, is it? Let's have a look. Oh, yes. I can see. Hmm. I think we'll need glasses to read that one. Uh, it says Leeds Pottery. Very nice. Oh, and this is... I don't know what that is. It's not enough words. Hire... High right fired. It's a crazy wild guess. If you know, let us know in the comments. And oh, look at that. No, Isn't Regal. that pretty? Very nice. I would imagine that was a very posh dinner service in its time. Here we have the bottom of a shoe. It's the one side's pretty rotted. There's the bottom, and you can see all the nails in this shoe and the layers of leather. The leather is very stiff now, though. That is so 1920s, isn't it? Possibly 1930s. Just got that look about it. The heel of your shoe. Oh, another piece of shoe. Oh, there's the, the sole look. See that there? There we go, there's the heel. Thank you, Rose. Yeah. And let's have a look. Here. Whoa. That's quite heavy. It's a big lump, that. If you turn it over, you can see all the nails all around the outside. Just swell this off. I just got this out of the way to get the lid. So it's a boring old bottle. Hmm? Is it a boring old bottle? No, is this not. such a thing as a boring old bottle? No, this is a very, very good old bottle. Right, let's see what he says on your bottle. Ooh. It's like a milk of magnesia, is it? Dinner foods made in England, magnesia. Yes, yeah, so it's a sort of milk of magnesia. Ooh. Right, but Phil was looking at a lid, so let's have a look. Raise the lid. Oh, that's not just the lid, is it? Oh, look. I don't know what that was. Let's wash it off. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Do you think maybe that was a cheese dish for a pointy piece of cheese? No, I don't think so. It's a weird shape. Any ideas, anyone? Look what Phil's found. It's part of a jug. Can you see there's a dragon's tail there? I can't see the dragon's head yeah. this side. That's pretty impressive. Oh! It's wet. It's a bit cold. And it's big, blooming prickies. Ah! Nettles and thistles everywhere, but that doesn't stop a determined mudlarker from finding a beach. So we are going down there in that search of a beach. That's so come cool. on, everybody, follow Phil. <laughs> I've fallen down a hole. I've had leeches in my wellies. It's one of those days. Some people take up needlework. Some people take up reading. What on earth was I thinking of when we took up mudlarking? It's such fun though. We threw, but is the water too deep? That's the next question. At least the rain has stopped for the moment. But hey! Here we are. I'm not sure where we are, but we're here apparently. There's a beach. Oh, brilliant. Right, ooh, this is very soggy. Oh, wow, look at that. Well, that has made it all worthwhile. Oh, this is really exciting. Oh, let's get down to the beach and see what we can find. And Phil found a bottle already. Let's have a look at your bottle then, Phil. Oop, come down. Oh yes, is it empty? Uh, sorry. Is it got a name on it? I don't know. Sorry, it's, it's, it's not a scoot off, huh? 
There's something there. Yes, it's got something written on it. Shall we put it in the water? Give it a go. There we go, give it a wash. Oh, we got a paste pot. Two paste pots. As you can see, Phil is terribly English with his umbrella, even when we mudlark. Tetley. Oh yes, Tetley Leeds. So I assume that's a beer bottle. Oh, there's a bottle. Is it hope? What do you think? Can you see it there? You know, I think this could be blue. Oh, look. Wow, look at the size on that and his hole. Let's empty it out. Doesn't that sound lovely? Let's hold it up to the light. Oh, it's not blue, it's brown, but wow, what a bottle. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Greens, is it? No, re. Re. Registration. Reg. Reg. England number. and the registration number. Very nice. And here comes the rain. Can you see the rain on the top of the water? It's getting very wet. It's We're going right. to get soaked. I have what we need. Ta-da! See, they all mock me for going mudlarking with a brolly. Go, go, gadget umbrella. Ta-da! Hey. Right, so it's going over this way. Phil has got to follow me closely now or I'll get soaked. Pick up my grabber. That's a, that's something like and off we go. Let's wander in so pop your wellies on. Make sure you're ready because here we go but somebody hasn't got their welly on. And I can tell because there it is. Right, in we go. There are so many things in this river. Right away I can see some paste pots. This one says Shippums. Let's have a look at the one over here. And this one says something on the bottom. Oh no, it's just a pattern. But it's another meat paste pot. And here's a bottle, right on the edge. Oh, that's a cute one. California fig syrup. Here's a handle. I do like finding handles. And teapot spouts. I don't know why, I just do. And here's a lid of a teapot. Very pretty, but a little bit broken. And what's this? Hmm, not sure what that is. Oh, I know what that is. That is the top of a rubber hot water bottle. Perish now and normally there would have been a stopper that went in there. Oh, I think it's glass. Oh, look. I think that must have been like a glass basket or something for keeping your fruit in. Oh, now that's a big circle. Do you think that's whole? No, it's another top. And a broken plant pot with a hole in the bottom. Oh, that's nice. It's only the top of a bottle, but look at the pattern that was on that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, the blue and white. And, oh, a little baby bobble jar. Isn't that sweet? Now that, I don't know if you recognise it, it's actually a jelly mould. You would have filled this when it was whole with jelly and then you can see that it would have had pointy bits on the top. You'd have emptied it out and had a really nice jelly for your Sunday tea. There's the bottom of a bottle. Do you think there's any more? Hmm, it seems a bit loose. No. As you can see there's the punt inside. Quite a deep punt in there. And here's a little cute bottle. Look at that. It's a screw top, but it's cute. What have you found in the water, Phil? Just there. There. I don't know if it's cool, but I can see right in. What about it? Can you see it? Just there. There. Yeah. There. <laughs> there. Let's have a look. 
Oh no, it's broken. Oh. There's another bottle here, or is it a piece? I think I need my diggy thingy. Right, let's have a look. Oh, is it whole? Is it whole? What do you think? Oh no, it's broken. Nothing written on it. And what's this? Oh, I think that's a bit of bone. A rib off something. Oh, some gorgeous pottery along here. Look, it's this one. That's nice. There's a little bit of blue and white, and this has got to be the prettiest. Isn't that nice? Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the bottom of some sort of posh vase or vase with a very mushed up symbol on the bottom. I can't read that. Look, it's a very pretty cup too. No, bowl, cup. Hmm, probably a big cup. Ooh, this is very blue. Look at that. Now that's a contender too for prettiest piece of the day, isn't it? I wonder what that was off. I think a big jardinier possibly that had a big aspidester in. Do you all remember that song, the biggest aspidester in the world? Poor old Phil looks like a pack horse, doesn't he? With all his bags and umbrellas, sticks, you name it, Phil's got it. Goodies! Look at the goodies. Mm, look at the goodies. There are some bottles here. Let's look at these. Oh, there's one there, one there, one there, one there. So let's see. The first one is a jar. Let's take a jam jar. This one is, let's have a look. Anything written on it? That's the big question. No, there's nothing written on that one. Have a look at the next one. There's something written on it, but is it whole? What do you think? Let's have a look. Oh, the neck is snapped on that one. It is a... Mmm, I need to wash that. Shield hall. Essence of coffee and chicory. SCWS, which is the Scottish Co-op Wholesale Society. And the last thing we have, this looks like it could be an inkware. Or is it a little meat pot? No, I think that's a little meat pot. It looks like somebody has been here sorting along this edge and bringing bottles out to the side. Rather a lot here. Now that's a pretty shaped one, isn't it? Nothing written on it, I don't think. But it's cute. What colour is it? Hmm, I think it's plain, but it's got a bit of a green tinge from the algae. That's my hand off. Oh, milk glass. Oh, ponds. Now they're usually ponds, but they don't usually have the word ponds on when I find them. That's quite a nice one. Oh, this another paste pot. Yep, another paste pot. What's under here? Hmm, broken bit. Do you think this one's broken? Yes. I think we leave that lying there. Hmm, I thought that was part of a horseshoe. It's metal. It's like a dial or something. Hmm. And here comes the rain again. Thank you. Here comes the Umbrella Man. There we go. There we go. Right then. We're dry, Tom's wet. That is the back of Tom out in the rain. Fortunately, he has his coat on. We're under the umbrella. Listen, see if we can listen for the rain. Pretty clouds. I'm being closely tailed by my man with an umbrella. So I'm fine, I'm not getting wet. I hope you can all fit under. Sorry if any of you are sticking out the sides and getting wet shoulders. But, uh, 
pipe stem, was it? Oh yes, I think it is well spotted, Phil. Let's have a look. Yes, it's a pipe stem. Look at that. Got all like little lumpy bumpy bits on it. Wow. Oh, <laughs> it's raining. Oh my god. Oh, look at the water. Can you see how fast it's going? Possibly the rain was above us and the water's picking up speed as the rain's coming down. I don't know. As pretty as the rain looks, we're on a limited time queue, so I'm going to carry on looking even in the rain. Now, what's that thing? A big limp of something. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but it's big. It's a lovely tile. Only a piece of the tile, but it's still pretty. Are you wet? It's wet. <laughs> it's wet a bit. Even if it's not wet enough for the umbrella, it's still getting quite damp. Yeah, the wind is blowing, but it keeps some bit off. Yes. Let's go and have a look on this part of the beach. Ooh, lots more goodies. Is that the bottom of a bovril jar, do you think? Let's have a look. No, it is just the bottom. Oh, here's another nozzle of a teapot. I do like finding teapot nozzles. And here's a milk glass egg cup. We always find lots of egg cups around here. Here's a piece of crested way. Not the whole crest. Still a nice chunk. Some green, perhaps with some flower pot, do you think? Something like that. What has Phil got? A brolly. Oh, right. oh it's raining. <laughs> I was bent down with my hood up and I couldn't yeah, see the no, rain. Yeah, it tipped down. Did you see the welly back here? Eh? Yes, we looked at the welly. Yeah, they couldn't find the child. There was no child attached no. to the welly. Oh, look. Can you see this? Look at that. That's a pretty massive chunk. Don't know if the stop is any good. Have a look. Give it a swish. Oh, we haven't had that stopper before. Alright, do we check the beach? Or the water? There are hundreds of things in the water. Hundreds of things in the beach. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay. Let's have a look, see if this is Cornish way. Looks like. Ooh, I think, it, yes, that's Cornish way. You can tell because of the ridges. They're much thicker on the blue than on the white. That's quite a chunk of pot there. Yeah. Ah, now there's a chunk of pot and here's a chunk of pot. Yeah, but I don't much? think they're the same thing. No. Separate what a coincidence pot. having two big lumps of pot like that together. And what's this? Oh, that's an interesting pattern. Not the prettiest pattern I've ever seen, but interesting. Phil's found a ball. We always find a ball. Oh, it's a dead ball. <laughs> We've got this shoe. No, that doesn't feel like Cornish way. Oh no, is that somebody's trodden on a pipe? I think it is. Oh, what a shame. No. Well, he's not looking very well, is he? Now look at this. Is this some sort of trap? Or a fisherman's box? You can see the lid there. And the strap. So I think probably, hmm, I don't know, for ferrets perhaps? There's holes, ear holes. What do you think that is? Do you think that is for ferrets or for a fisherman? Or something completely different? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, what have you found? <laughs> That's weird. Three, four pegs. All on a piece of sponge. Oh, I'm sure that's good for something. I'm not quite sure what. A bit of social history. Yeah. <laughs> in, in many years time, somebody would find that interesting. At the moment, it's just a blob of something with pegs on. Well, we've had rain. And then heavy rain, 
and now glorious sunshine but this bag is getting full so probably time to go see you again soon don't forget thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you want to hear more and best of all share it with a friend bye for now bye